good for the little town of North. Early voting continued in Orangeburg County on Monday. At North Branch Library, poll workers have seen a steady number of people excited to vote. The people have been very eager to come in here. Ann Epps has been a poll worker in Orangeburg for almost two decades. She says many people were unaware of the North Branch location when early voting started last Monday. A lot of them have said they didn't know this was happening. They didn't know they could come in and vote. But once they get here, then they go out and they tell more people and then more people are coming in. So this has been an asset for all of the people around here. And Ann encourages anyone in the county to vote early. I think the biggest thing is it's just letting it be less stressful. And of course, the lines are going to be long no matter what happens on November the 3rd. We don't know what the weather is going to be. So why not just come on out and do it now? No stress. Vote for who you want to. Feel comfortable here. And when you're done, you don't have to worry about November the 3rd. You can stay home and watch it all on television. And over in the Sumter County town of Dazel, they continue to see a steady line of early voters. We're being told this location saw about 500 voters last week. Poll workers are ready to help anybody who wants to cast a ballot. Last week was pretty busy. We had um, several um, voters, you know, a lot of voters come out and do absentee ballots. We're doing absentee um, curbside. Um, if, you know, they, you know, can't walk or, you know, handicapped, they can come up curbside and we'll do curbside and um, they can come in and um, get their absentee ballots done. And another common question, can they bring their absentee ballots to the satellite location? And poll workers telling us that is not an option. Satellite locations cannot accept sealed ballots. Many of you are still waiting for your mail-in absentee ballots to arrive and want to know how you can find out when that's going to happen. If you go to the scvotes.gov website and click voters, you're going to see a section called Check My Absentee Ballot. You'll need to fill out your personal information. Once you do that, check the box for statewide general election. At the bottom of the screen, it will tell you the date your ballot was mailed. And if you've already filled out your ballot and mailed it in, you will see the date it was received. Your vote will not be counted, however, until Election Day. We've given you a lot of information, so if you have any questions about the election, we're on your side with our WLTX Voter's Guide. All you have to do is head over to WLTX.com slash vote for all the latest information on the election. Now, you can also text the word election to the number you see on your screen. Text the word election to that number, and we'll send you a direct link to the News 19 Election Guide.